This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another War and Pieces. Now we've been on a real tear with with GW games, I mean GM, GMT games, and we really hit home with a lot of the great stuff that they've been coming out with, and boy, have they been coming out with a lot of stuff. But I wanted to give some love to some of the other publishers that, that are out there. And there was a game that caught my eye, and I was really intrigued by it, since I am a huge fan of Skirmish. And the uh, the old Milton Bradley game, I think I have it right over there. Matter of fact, matter of fact I'm going to pull it out for you. Why not? Oh. We're not going to edit this or anything because, come on, we're the most unprofessional guys in the world. This was like one of my first and most favorite games of all time. And um, I, I, I love that game, and I, I played it until I, I can't see. So when I saw that Wor Worthington Publishing had hold the line, the American Revolution, a period that I really am interested in and I really enjoy playing. Uh, well, I had no choice but to go out and get it. Is it good? Is it great? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's kind of go so down and check it out. Let's just take a quick look at this. And I don't have all the pieces in here, and there's a reason for that. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the board. The board. The, you have all these different types of tiles. You're going to have woods, you're going to have bridges, rivers, and you're just going to put them depending on where the scenario is kind of on the board here. This board is massive. So let's just take a look at this. This is definitely one of those must-haves. I mean, hold the line is right. It's just a huge, huge board. And uh, you know my love for matted boards as it is. I did want to show you guys some of the things in here that you get. You get some beautiful, beautiful miniatures. I'm just going to open this up and pull something out. You could paint these again if you want to, but I honestly, honestly think they're fine enough for what, what they are. The red and blue really does hit it home. The scenario book is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at this. I mean, just spelling out, uh, and there are a ton, I mean, a ton of different scenarios. I mean, look, we're just rolling right through here, and it, it gives you all kinds of different situations, and I really, really, as a matter of fact, I couldn't even cover it all. And then Yorktown, oh, man, that one's a good one, too. Hold the line, uh, here is the actual the actual rule book and it's not a lot of pages it really isn't I think there's uh, five so yeah I was right eight, eight pages oh, no I was wrong eleven <laughs> but but it gives you everything that you need and of course you have your your charts this is just a very very well done and produced and there are just so many different different scenarios that you can run and then you can kind of do your own stuff and just basically set it up and really go hold the line I mean hey come on if you have the means go out and give this a look I think you're gonna really enjoy everything that comes in this box and enjoy a really fantastic and well produced game so let's send it up top and get my final thoughts I mean do I say wow I mean, you guys get tired of me saying, wow. But, I mean, really, this is ridiculous. This is just a tremendous work of art. I love how you can you can make your own scenarios. You can do anything that you want with this. It is a giant sandbox, but it also has that, that, that scenario. That scenario book is beautiful. Everything's spelled out. The rules, I mean, they're like five, four or five pages long. I mean, really? Um, the miniatures, you can paint them if you want to. I think keeping them blue and red is perfect. Uh, you know, you get it to the table, get it going, and, and just l let the magic happen. Because that's what happens when you play this. This is just a superb game with superb components. I know I enjoyed it. I had a great time uh, play testing it. Uh, and I did it by myself. So I got to play both sides a little bit. And it's just 
wonderful. I, I really, if you can get your hands on Hold the Line, the American Revolution, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Well, that's it for another War and Pieces. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.